Uh, well, that's it's not quite a short story, but in a nutshell, um, I started working as a gynecologist. Okay. During my training, becoming a gynecologist, I, uh, education was always getting like a red line to my whole period, my years of education. Uh, and since like, I think now six, seven years, I switched to the full-time education and I uh, do not work as gynecologist anymore. Okay. Um, I have this special interest in programmatic assessment, uh, workplace learning, um, and I think that's because of what I know from being a supervisor as a gynecologist. Uh, and besides that, I also love to have a look from well, the non-usual, non-familiar uh, parts of learning, uh, the non-cognitive parts of learning, because I think experiencing, well, that's uh, the goal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, my talk is actually, I am, it's about the power of imagination, which can be very broad, but it's, um, I narrowed it to um, theater and, and sketch comedy. Okay. Um, and we, uh, I got this government funded um, scholarship uh, to experiment with this, uh, and it's about experiential learning. Um, and using sketch comedy as a tool, um, and by that uh, we, we exaggerate the situations from the workplace, um, we replay sketches, uh, exaggerating situations, and, and humor is the, a very important factor and a, a, a very good coping mechanism yeah. Yeah. for stress <laughs> to prevent and to develop protective factors. Yeah. So uh, that, that's how we use it. And it's, it's in the experiential phase, we're starting the research on it. Uh, so, so it's really the beginning. But I yeah. think you know, really? it's, it's nice to do this adventure with the students together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just talk to people. Okay. Yeah, Just yeah. go for a cup of coffee uh, with someone that you like to chat with. Um, I think everybody in education is, has this uh, passion about it and yeah. passion about learning and lifelong learning. So everybody's very open. That's what I experience. So just go for it. Yeah. Um, oh, that, that's also actually, you can go in quite some directions, yeah. but I think um, communication is also about um, getting in the real contact and the real um, connection with each other. So I think um, it's about the connection and it's not only verbal. The challenge is that when students start, they are fresh, they are really have this empathy, they feel with the patient. How do we uh, keep that yeah. without getting them burned down or without getting them mechanical? Yeah. And I think that's that's the challenge for us all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for your time. And